us to come home. Maybe it's a call for us just to come home to God. And maybe it's a, just a call for us to be restored and to be redeemed again, to come back to the source of life, our maker, the one who will feed, nourish, and sustain us. And the process of becoming one with God is the same for the believer and the unbeliever alike because it's a continual process. It's something that you're just going on throughout your whole entire life until Jesus Christ calls you home. It's something, it's not just, you know, you say the Lord's Prayer and, you know, I'm a Christian, now I should be experiencing the goodness of God. Like, it is a continual, ongoing process. So my question for you is where are you in the process? Maybe you need to, maybe you don't even know who God is and you need to ingest Jesus Christ. You need to invite Jesus Christ to your life. Maybe you need to just chew on his word and really begin to apply it into your life. Maybe you're in a season where you just need to receive from God, to trust him. You need to allow him to lead you, to guide you. Or maybe you're in a season where you just need to let go, where you just need to let it go. Because the thing is, on average, it takes two to five days for people to digest the strawberry that you ate. <laughs> but becoming one with God is a lifetime process. Mm -hmm. It is something that is continuous. So we continue to eat. We continue to experience. We continue to partake of Jesus Christ so that we, with confidence, can invite others and also say, like the psalmist, taste and see that the Lord is good. Mm -hmm. Thank you.